Today we're going to be doing a steering box replacement. So for your tools, you're going to need a flathead, a set of pliers, rubber mallet, side cutters. Your steering box should come with two pieces of heat shrink, an extra clip, and three zip ties. And then also a smaller Phillips, a larger Phillips. I'm going to be using a screw gun. If you do use a screw gun, make sure they're on the lower setting. And then you're also going to need some sort of heat source. I have a heat gun. So first, make sure your motor is shut off, either at the breaker or unplug your motor. So for your first step, we'll take off the side cover screws. You're gonna have to deploy the unit out, so just kind of put your depth collar. You don't have to go out too far. Deploy it out so you can remove this cover should just pop right off. There's just one little connection here. It's just a twist connection. It comes right undone. Your steering box is just one wire. It comes underneath this power cable here. You just pull on this. You notice it's right here. It's just this twist connection here. You just undo that connection. Now, we can go ahead and stow the unit again. Take out the four screws in the head. So there's just four up here. And those will just pop right off. You can pop those out. You can get your side cutters, and you're gonna want to undo your connections here. You're gonna cut away the zip ties so we can remove this board. Just to make it a little easier. These two screws, put them in your top cover. Just kind of set that to the side for now. So you're gonna want to remove this ferrite. So now you have more room to work with. So now you can just undo your connections here. Just cut away from yourself. Same thing on the other side. So you undo your connections there. You can clean up this side now. So we're gonna have fresh heat shrink. Let's just cut that off. That's done. So we can unplug your MCB. So next we're gonna remove the head bolt screw. For this, I recommend using a screw gun. It's gonna be the larger Phillips. And just undo that. Make sure this nut on this side doesn't fall in the water. So just come right out. So this will come down. Pull the head sleeve off, O-ring, save that. Put everything on your list so you don't misplace anything. We'll slide off like that. We'll take off depth collar. It should be clear to pull the shaft out. Just put the more unit out. It should slide right out. We'll set that aside. We'll take your flat head. You can use your flat head to take out these clips. This clip here that holds the pin in place. You're just gonna take your flat head and you're just gonna give it a push down. And it should just pop right off. It's the same thing on the other side. You can just slide the pin out and the pin should just pull out nice and easy. If you're having trouble taking the pin out, we recommend using a rubber mallet if you're still struggling with taking out the pin, give us a call and we'll assist further. The steering box should just pop right out now. I'll take your new steering box and just put it right back in. Now's a good chance to get in here and clean out any corrosion or any anything you have in there. 
We'll make sure the box fits nice and flush. We'll take your pin. You'll notice there's a, you know, the pin slides right through there. Just make sure it's lined up. And just take your pin. You'll just kind of move the box around a little bit and you'll feel when you can slide it in. If you just slide it in. Take your clip, push the pin all the way through so you can see this piece here. I like to use the pliers so that you don't lose it. So you just take the pliers, put it on top, just give it a squeeze. Make sure you adjust it down. You'll notice there's this flat spot. That's to give clearance for the bar, for the linkage. You can push the pin back in and kind of make sure it's all the way through. Come back to the other side and same thing. Make sure that the flat spot is that the top there. Wow. Nothing's rubbing, pins in there, your clips are in there. You'll notice nothing's rubbing here. If it's rubbing, just kind of adjust it needed. All right, now you can put the steering box down. It should latch into place. I'll take this wire and just find your power cable. It's this one here. It comes in from this side. Just fish it underneath. Make sure it goes underneath here. It has to be on this side find your other connection you'll notice on here there's a there's this little circle here it's the branding it's the same thing on this side and that's how you know that you'd line those up together and it'll fit perfect so you just kind of it should just fit right in you don't want to force it it should just pop right in there twist these together tuck that down in there take your rear cover same thing, you'll notice there's an arrow. There's an arrow on this side. You line those up, you shouldn't have any resistance. You just twist it together. So you see this here? This is for your steering cable. So you're just gonna tuck this down in there. And notice this cable just kind of gets all, so you just gotta pull it back and it'll let the cover go on. And down here, same thing. So here's your cable, you follow your cable down. Down here is that little slit I showed you. Make sure the cable is down there so it doesn't get pinched. Now it sits nice and flush. So there's also a slit there for that pigtail, so make sure that goes out there. So you'll take your two screws, and if it doesn't go right in, it's because this cable's pulling on the cover. So you kind of just got to push it back a little bit. You can push your stern box back up. Here I like to put the side covers back on. Just take your two screws, they're the bigger ones. So this is the bigger one you're gonna use for the side covers and your rear cover. And this one is your head cover screws. You just put one in at a time. Same thing, they don't gotta be on there real tight. It's just same thing on the other side. Just kind of hold it, screws in there. I cover it with my finger so it doesn't fall out. Put it in place. Just to hold the plastic on, doesn't have to be real tight. You gotta take your depth collar. When you put your depth collar on, make sure that these teeth are facing down towards the bottom like this. They go here, and that's a control that which grabs this so you can steer your steering box. So slide this in. Just tighten that all the way down for now. So your lower unit doesn't slide out. So now we'll just do it backwards. We're gonna put it this on first, and then the O-ring, put that on, and just right above the holes there, take your sleeve, just put that in there. So you'll take your flat head, and you'll push your O-ring in there, It should be pretty easy. Shouldn't have to fight it too much. Push this all the way down and line up your holes. So from here, you're gonna pull your head on. When you first slid it on, make sure that this end matches the prop. 
if you stow your motor, you're going to notice that it's stowed probably this way, and this end of the plastic needs to line up. If you put it on, and your head is facing like this, and you secure it on, your motor is just going to spin in circles and circles trying to catch up with itself. Make sure everything is lined up. You can take your bolt and start it by hand first, just to get it. This part's a lot easier with the drill. And just find it and ease it in. You're gonna separate your power wires so that one of the power wires is at the top and one of them is at the bottom. And then you're gonna run your bolt all the way through. You take your nut from earlier, put that in there. And it should just go right on nice and easy. If it's not going on easy, the head is crooked, so you gotta adjust it a little bit, but it should just go right nice and just give it a couple clicks. Not too hard, you don't wanna break your plastic. So next you'll take your heat shrink, put your black to black, make sure your connections are nice and even in the middle. Take your red to white. I wanna keep it in the same spot for too long. Make sure your connections are still tight. Just kinda work it around. To keep it in the same spot for too long, you could start melting plastic a little bit. So just kind of move it around. So I like to let them cool down a little bit before you zip tie them together. Cause if you zip tie them together too quick, this will melt together and later on, it'll cause a short and it'll could damage the system. We took this ferrite off earlier. This is important to put these back on. If you don't put these on your system, it's possible it doesn't work properly. Take one of your zip ties, it goes here, you kind of push this back and this holds that in place back there. Take your other zip tie, and now it's cool enough. Zip tie back here. Put one in the middle. Just to keep it all nice and snug. So we'll cut this off, cut your zip tie ends off. Here, he'll take your, your MCB. It's the same thing. This one doesn't have any indicators here. This one you just have to feel. There's a slot here, so those line up. So we just kind of, I got lucky there. But if you, sometimes it doesn't go. We've got motors come in and people have forced these in. So you just, just find it, slide it in, no resistance. Tighten this up. Doesn't have to be crazy tight, just, you know. Take two screws. All your screws should be in your top cover. I like to start with the top one. If you're using a screw gun, make sure it's on the lowest setting. These screws are the small ones. Put the top one in first. And you can put the bottom one in. These are just to hold the board and so they don't have to be real tight. Double check everything, make sure black is black, red is white. Everything's in its place. We'll go ahead and do a function test. So you take your depth collar. A little bit. So you can go ahead and deploy the unit. Go ahead and power it up. And we're gonna double check and make sure that we have thrust and reverse. So push forward, it should go counterclockwise. When you push reverse, three, it should go clockwise. Go ahead and power the system off. Put it back in the stowed position. Now we can put the top cover back on. So it's just four screws. I like to put this one in first. Take the back one. That's how you do a steering box replacement.